yeah. You alright? I'm not too bad, a little bit hungover. I know I seen some pictures on uh, social media of you last night, mate. <laughs> so it uh, might be a while till he gets in tomorrow. <laughs> I am here. Yeah. Always turning me. Team love player, mate. Love the office, love the tour. No iron team. <laughs> <laughs> so good day? Yesterday, yeah, it's good. It's good. Uh, had a good laugh with uh, Rob's little son. Um, knows a lot about football, doesn't he? he for always, seven. I don't know. I oh, he, he was getting us to like say a Premier League team, and then he'd name all the players, and I was thinking he knows more than me. He's got the card. They have the cards. They have the cards. They have FIFA. They have yeah. whatever. I haven't got all that. I better look after <laughs> kids and stuff. That's my excuse. Um, weird day, wasn't it? Yeah, it was strange. It was it was a, the strangest six 0 I've ever been yeah. to. Kind of. Felt a bit like a friendly, uh, but you know, six nil. Six nil is great, yeah. but but it, there was like a general weird atmosphere around Villa Park, um, not least because half of their fans walked out there about two nil, um, and you know, I'm, I think we all felt a little bit sorry for for yeah. them as well, didn't we? I mean, the, the RN never really got going properly. A few little goals, and obviously we celebrated the goals, and that was great, and there were six of them. But um, there was a bit, wasn't there, which was quite nice, I thought, where there was like a hardcore of Villa fans who stayed for the full 90 minutes despite yeah. getting beat 6-0. And they had to go, they started singing, didn't they? And all our end was like, you know you know what, well, on still supporting your team when you're 6-0 down, yeah. you look doomed to relegation. Um, and I think I think there was a, a nice little football fan moment there, wasn't there? No, definitely, because, I mean, I do feel sorry for them, because Aston Villa's a proper football club, isn't it? You know, mm. they won the European Cup, and, you know, to see them in the state they are in now, because basically the owners give up, hasn't he? Yeah. So he's given up, he's taken the money out, they're trying to reduce the wage bill every season and, and think they can compete, and you'll just, you'll just run out of, of decent players in the end, and, and that's what's happening, and it's a real shame, because they don't deserve it. Um, and it's going to be a bit weird in the Midlands next year, isn't it? Yeah. With, um, with well, West Brom, West Brom still knocking about, but but that's about it. When you used to having, you know, you've had Aston Villa, Birmingham, you've been in the top flight. You've had Wolves. teams like Coventry, Wolves, and and none of the, you've only got West Brom on their own now, which is a uh, which which will be a bit strange, but it's just just the way it goes. Yeah, but six for us. Yeah. Uh, Coutinho, says, uh, Coutinho, great. Daniel Sturridge back <laughs> starting a game. James Milner says there's every reason to be excited about the future. I, is, uh, I think it's right, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I, I mean, I don't think, I don't think that when you've won a game like that against a team that was so poor, it all of a sudden means everything that's come before is gone. We have still got some problems to iron out. Uh, you know, I, I think, I, th- I think we'll still lose games. I think we'll still win games. You know what I mean? We, we, yeah. We're still struggling for that consistency, and, and you still want to see better players come in. But yeah, you know, he's right. I think once you get the lads on, on the pitch, you can create and score, which is what we basically yeah. did. It makes a huge difference, and all of a sudden, we're not talking about defenders and dodgy keepers and all the rest of it. But you know, Aston Villa basically sitting there and, and hardly putting a tackle in definitely helped. Them. <laughs> <laughs> it did help, but I, I agree with you. I think having all the players back makes a massive difference. And you were looking at it and looking at the bench and then looking at the players yeah. who went on the bench, you, you were out, and you, you do start to get a bit excited. So I agree with you, James Milner. And he's going to have a new centre half next season to play with as well, Joe Massive. Massive, yeah, I don't know anything about him, I've got to be honest. Um, the, 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 my kitchen's still getting done. <laughs> Uh, it's still doing me head in, nowhere to cook all that. I've said about this on here before, haven't I? But the fella came in this morning and he sounded like... Where are you going with this? Well, <laughs> well he, he came in this morning and what about this fella who's sounding Matip? And I went, I don't know anything about him, mate. I don't watch the Bundesliga, I haven't got time. Just about managing the Premier League when Liverpool are playing. <laughs> and he said, uh, he said, well, my lad he reckons he's brilliant. And I said, well, what's, what's he basing the brilliance on? And he went, FIFA. <laughs> 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 well, he looks good to me. I've watched uh, Handsome Neil Jones has done a little video on the yeah, app, so. um, and, and said in, he, he's 24, which I think is a good age, good age to sign a defender. Um, he says he, Neil says he's big, tall, and strong, and he likes a goal as well. He gets up the other end and, and onto a few in from corners. He's, he's six, uh, six four, six yeah, three, big, something like that. Lad, yeah. uh, Klopp likes his big players as well. If you look back, sort of Dortmund and all that, he always signed big lads. He likes his team to be physical. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I mean, it'd be interesting. I mean, I, I heard someone else say, I've got to be honest, I feel like I'm throwing negativity all over the show today. But someone else who does watch that league, who shall remain nameless because he works in the national media and he might not want me to throw him under the bus, he, re- he didn't rate him. He, he, he said, ah, he's all right. He said, but he sort of, he reckoned anyway, sort of skirtlish level, um, which. We'll see. Well, it's, it'd be interesting to see what they brought him in for. Or whether mm. see him, is he a first team? Is he a squad? Is he, yeah, is he, is he someone to replace maybe Colo or someone going else? Or, uh, well, Colo's definitely going, isn't yeah, he? Yeah. That, that was so confirmed we'll, again today. 
great to see him score, by the way, wasn't it? <laughs> what did I say to you as well before it happened? I, I said to everyone who was around, I went, Colo scores, we riot, and then he scored. And it was mad. And it was like, all these people that we don't know were going, you just said, you just said. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, I always say it. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to worry. Uh, another quick shout out as well before we go for the 21s. They had the quarterfinal um, cup game at the weekend. Uh, they won 4 3 against Brighton. They were 3 1 down, and then Ryan McLaughlin came on and and turned it round. Uh, Joe Sinclair came off the bench as well and played really well. I like well, him. But, uh, I, I like, like him. Ryan McLaughlin. Yeah, he's had a uh, battle with injuries and he had a low move which didn't really work out but he is highly thought of there so it was interesting to come off the bench and play really well so he uh, wants to watch out for it. Yeah, he's fast, isn't he? He's quick, yeah. Fast, creative, uh, seems quite a confident lad. And yeah, you know, good luck to him. It'll be, I mean, I think around, you know, Klopp and everything else mm. he's shown he'll give people a go so hopefully Ryan gets to go somewhere along the way. There you go. Wait, should we leave it there? Yeah, we'll leave it there. We've got the free show coming out today, and uh, I think that's it for today. But uh, they're recording the Tuesday views today as well, so that'll be out tomorrow. Yeah, half one they're recording the uh, the big show, so it'll be out later this afternoon. Please listen to it, and if you like it, spread the word. Tell, tell your mates, mates, tell your granddad, tell your dad, tell your ma. And let, us know, let us know what you think of us and as your new mics as well. Yeah, new mics, get on that. What's the sound like? <laughs>